All right, what's everyone? Cha Ching Finder here, and today we're gonna be playing some more Akelang yeah, Flora 2. So, just before we start with anything, I do want to thank George Arsinte for becoming a channel member. Thank you very much, and do spam those freaking emotes. And just in case you guys want to become a channel member and you know support my shit, then be sure to do so by clicking the big join button right next to my freaking name. Again, thank you all for your massive ass freaking support, because without it, yep, I probably wouldn't be making videos anymore. And now let's continue. So today's video is going to be all about the Doshine Gun. The Doshine Gun, yep, this thing is... It's something, it's definitely something. I genuinely want to love this weapon, but its clunkiness... I don't like. Now, in my previous video, yeah, I just, you know, made my first impressions on the weapon. It was literally just an hour after the update came out, and my first impressions on the weapon were... it was shit. But a lot of people stepped forward, they said you can actually stun with it consistently, you can... will I try different perks, and someone also sent me a wiki page. And that's exactly what we're gonna be reading before we're gonna be hopping into the game. The Doshine Gun is a tier 2 compact, fully automatic assault rifle available for every perk as an off-perk weapon. This weapon literally shoots out Dosh stacks that behave like a blunt projectile and leave a Dosh pickup on the ground. The Doshine Gun does not come with spare ammo reserves, instead it draws the ammo directly from the Dosh reserves at a ratio of 25 dosh per round or 500 dosh per full clip. Firing this weapon on teammates allows players to finance them at the same rate. Despite having rather mediocre damage and a rate of fire, as well as limited range of its projectiles, the Doshine Gun bearing impressive amount of stun, stumble and gun hit powers. Only some of the perks skills work with this weapon listed below, with Commando Sharpshooter and SWAT being able to make the most out of it. Now this is the most interesting part. The Doshan gun is notably affected by following boosts. Commandos, passive damage and machine gunner. Okay, so here we have the commando. He does have, you know, plus 25% passive more damage to your perk weapons. And Machine Gunner, during that time you do 3% more damage and shoot 3 times faster with perk weapons. So the Doshine Gun is going to be affected by this and this. Then we have Field Medics Zedative. Alrighty man, Field Medics Zedative, that's gonna be... Okay. Gunslinger's Fanfire. Okay, this is just gonna be shooting 3 times faster. Okay, Sharpshooter has a bunch of them. Sharpshooter's passive headshot damage, which is going to be 25%. Sniper, rack em up. Okay, rack em up gets damage bonus for every stack, but does not trigger stacks on its own. Okay, so you can't do rack em ups with the Doshan gun, noted. Also, Deadeye, Assassin, and Ranger. So, Assassin's going to have damage and that time, whereas Ranger is only going to have that time. Okay, then we have the SWAT's Close Combat Training. 100% more damage due to the Bludgeon damage type which this skill works with. Okay, so because of the Bash. Gotcha. And survivalist, passive damage, okay, what's the passive damage? Okay, only 15. Zed time reload, spontaneous explosion, madman, and lockdown. So he did say up top, commando, sharpshooter, and SWAT. I feel like the SWAT is gonna be the best with the Doshine gun, since, you know, you get like 100% more freaking damage. Okay, just gonna be starting off with the commando. And I'm also just gonna enable cheats so I can get this shit faster. Well then boys, let the pain and suffering begin. I'm not going to upgrade this weapon because I feel like most people are not gonna upgrade it either because it's just gonna be like a secondary pretty much as a backup. Because if you do decide to upgrade this shit to full, yep, it's gonna be weighing 7 kilograms. And that's just way too much for a weapon like this, I mean Jesus Christ. So he did also say that you can stun a lot with this weapon. Oh, you can actually extend slow motion with this thing, well that's... Well, yeah, not all that have bad, to be honest. But yeah, like I said, Doshine Gun, it's not going to be like for everyone, it's probably not gonna be for me, even though I now know what the hell it's gonna be doing, but... So he did say it's going to be stunning most of the Zeds with... Well, yeah, Giga freaking hit points, just like, I don't know, a Skrake, let's say. I'm just gonna spawn them in just to check. 
I mean, obviously, for the first wave, this thing's gonna be a piece of cake. Because, I mean, the Zeds. Oh, can I do him? Can I do him? Oh my god, that aim. Or should I say that reach? It's just pretty much gonna be as like a secondary if you literally run out of every single ammunition on your weapons. You can just pull the shit out and just, well, yeah, kill him with some. Yeah, boy, dosh. Okay, so if my calculations are correct, if I shoot the rioter in the head, he should get stunned. Yep, exactly, exactly that. Because that's what bludgeon damage will it does in this game. Oh my god, it takes like four hours to kill him. Fidget spinner, the fuck fam. Okay, I'm just gonna spawn a Skrook. So if this thing is going to be, well, yeah, stunning a Skrake, it's not actually gonna be all that half bad. Oh my god, it does. Yo! Okay, what about a flesh bond? Nope, not gonna be doing much to a flesh bond, well that's disappointing. I mean I guess for scrakes you can use it, I guess. Okay, now we're going to be checking this shit out on the sharpshooter. So I do have plus 25% damage here if I do stand still. I do have plus 10 if I aim down the sights. He didn't say anything about stability, but I feel like this should work as well. I mean, you do have to take a lot of shit into account when you're gonna be playing with this thing. But yeah, hopefully you guys are appreciating me trying to will you put out some Christmas themed maps alongside this update. This map's also gonna be in the description if you guys wanna go check it out. So yeah, let's see what we can fucking do. Oh my god, just like aiming in killing floor. I mean, Jesus Christ. Yeah, not for me. Oh, I one-shot a freaking cookie. Well, that's nice. Okay, I did stun the siren. So for stunning, it's not actually gonna be all that half bad. But, I mean, you do have, you know, other weapons that can just, like, freeze and stun as well. Like the HRG stunner. So I feel like this weapon is still not gonna be all that much used. For flat maps like this one, yeah, it's gonna be, well, yeah, performing quite nice. Oh, I actually stunned the freaking usk. Fox, wait, what? No, oh, I don't have my headphones on, so I didn't even... Well, yeah, here, my man. Oh, get dodged. Yeah, just aiming, fam. All in all, I don't... Will I enjoy playing with it at all? But I, I guess if you're just like a hardcore killing floor player for some reason, you can make use out of this thing. Unless you just want to, like, meme around. Maybe. So yeah, at least it has, you know, something going for it. Okay, that's a quarter punt. Well, he is gonna get locally demolished. Oh my god, stalker plus. Away you go. Aha, uh -huh, get doshed. For me personally, doshing gun might play with it if I'm ever gonna be playing endless mode. But I feel like that's gonna be pretty much it. Okay, how the hell did that shoot? Well, yeah, nowhere. Oh, bloat, can I do him from afar? I can't even see where the hell my shots are going. Can I aim? I've actually got the kill. So, feeling-wise, pretty much the same on the Commando and Sharpshooter. But now we're gonna be trying it out with the SWAT and close combat training. I feel like it's gonna be the best on the SWAT. Plus 100% more damage, that's probably gonna be very good. I feel. So that means I can just like watch- Oh my god, I can one-shot the things and just like... I mean, fair enough, I can't like one-shot the freaking cookies, but if I just shoot these dudes like anywhere, yeah, they're gonna be a one-shot for this. I mean, the SWAT. I, I told you, it's pretty much one of the best perks in the game, now. So yeah, I feel like it's just gonna be the best played on this perk. Oh, well, that's a fleshy point. Well, time to... Oh, should I stun him? Should I stun him? I just stun him, screw it. Uh-huh. Get some dosh in your face, boy, but I just got... Well, yeah, pulled over. Ow. Okay. I mean, definitely not gonna be for killing flesh wounds and scrakes and stuff like that, but for little things, might work. Actually, might work. How the fuck you doing, boy? The harm just gonna dosh you while you're flying over the sky. So, I guess if you like playing the SWAT and you want an off work weapon, well, here you go, dosh and gun. And have that, with a close combat training on. I do just have to get a scrake out in the wild so I can. Well, yeah, stun, my man. Not sure exactly how I'm gonna be killing the bosses with this thing. Do keep in mind as well, I'm currently using cheats. So I do have unlimited, well, yeah, dosh. 
In real situations, it's most likely gonna be worse. Way, way worse. The main reason I'm using cheats is because I just want to, you know, showcase the weapon. But I'm probably gonna be playing this shit on multiplayer as well. Okay, just for the memes, I'm just gonna fully upgrade this thing. So, let's see how it's gonna be performing. Okay, this wave should be like a bunch of flesh bones, a bunch of screws, stuff like that. Oh my god, there's like two freaking flesh bones, well, that's not good. Oh, yo, this thing with... When it's like fully upgraded. Yeah, it's probably gonna be the best on the SWAT because you get like a hundred percent more damage, fam. That's probably worth it. So in this update, you pretty much got two new weapons for the SWAT. Yeah, boy. Hope this dude's ass is spazzing out. How did I miss the bash? No. Okay, we do have a Skrooky Skrook right over here. Oh, actually, the headshot. That was nice. Well then, Skrooky Skrook. Oh, yo. Yeah, fully upgraded Doshan gun with a combination of the SWATs. Close combat training. It's not all that have bad. Okay, this is the only way I can enjoy playing with this thing. Oh my, how did that miss? Boy. Nice. Oh my god, we got like a bunch of little things. Just like one shot everything up. I mean, the best part is you don't really need to aim at trash. Oh, well, here we have a quarter point. I mean, we had a quarter point. Man just got consumed by my dosh. Oh, here he's coming again. Uh -huh. Easy. Boy. But we see a one shot. Oh, spoilers, come on. You don't even stand a chance against my dosh throwing machine. The ha SWAT, I mean, Jesus Christ, why is this now the best work in the game? Well then, boy. Yep, just like that, annihilated. Okay, I do wonder how... Hmm, it's not that bad for Idors as well. Oh, we got a Skrooky Skrook. Okay, what if I just, like, shoot him in the freaking dick? Honestly, Doshan gun, close combat training, then fully upgraded, it's actually quite sick. Oh, no. That'd be fair enough, it's fully upgraded. Well then, here we have the Matriarch. Well, let's see what the Doshan gun is gonna be doing. But is this hell on earth? Okay, they're just double checking, because... Well, yeah, right now, the Doshan gun... ...is actually doing... ...a fair amount of freaking damage. Bro. <laughs> what? Yep, I didn't even have to talk. Pretty much the conclusion for the Doshine gun, the SWAT, with close combat training is the way to go. Now, I don't know exactly why it's gonna be working with, you know, close combat training and why is it gonna be working with, you know, sniper stuff like that, if it is an off-perk weapon. They did only say it's gonna be working with, you know, perk bonuses and nothing else, so I'm a little bit confused. But I mean, in beta 1, Yep, close combat training, it actually works. But yeah, man, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed, learned something about the Doshan gun. I'm just gonna leave the wiki page in the description as well. And yeah, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Adios.